Hey guys, Leon here, and in this video today, we're going to be talking about whether or not you can moderate alcohol. So it might be look a little bit weird with all the balloons behind me. It's actually my girlfriend's birthday. She's over here, so it's um, so it's her birthday today. So we've got the balloons just to celebrate. So I thought, why not use this as a background? But anyway, the point of the video today is, can you moderate drinking? Now, just before we get into this video, if you want to access the free training showing you the three biggest secrets that I used that helped me find stopping drinking effortless and enjoyable, then make sure to click the link below this video and you can access that and it's real true breakthrough content. So back to the question, can you moderate alcohol? Now people often stop drinking and they ask this question, you'll see it in Facebook groups, you'll see it everywhere. They'll have a good period of time where they've had you know, all the benefits of stopping drinking, like the clarity, the energy, everything. So they'll get to this point where they'll start thinking, can I have one? Can I just have one? Can I just have one or two? Can I just drink at the weekends? And it's a, you know, kind of a bit of a sad thing because I've been there. I've done exactly those things. I started wondering, can I moderate? And this was before I learned the truth about alcohol and the truth about the conditioning, the truth about what's really going on. But I really thought that I could moderate. So what happened is I got this period of sobriety where I hadn't drank for I think six or seven months or it might have been a little bit longer. I can't really remember the exact dates. But during that time when I was sober is I did it purely on willpower. I had a, I had a day where I woke up and I'd thrown up blood on the MacBook Pro. Some of you know the story. And uh, I woke up that day and I was like, right, I've got to change. I've got to just do this. So I just stopped sheer willpower, didn't do anything, just stopped. And this is the danger of using willpower is that one day it does run out. So anyway, so I'd been like six, seven months, maybe a little bit longer, like I said, of just sheer willpower and I stopped drinking and I built my first personal training business and it was amazing and it was just such a great time in my life and I felt confident, I felt happy, I was outgoing, I had a girlfriend, I just had everything going and it was during a, a party at New Year's Eve that uh, this voice in my head started saying, Leon, you could just have one, you know? And then I was like, nah, don't, and, and I realized what was going on and it, it was like, and I didn't drink. And then it came again. Look at everybody having fun. You could, you know, life's going okay now. Look at everyone. Everyone's having a good time. It's a party. Everyone's drinking. Everyone's having fun. You could just have one or two. I'm like, and then I, and I realized and I was like, nah, 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 nah. This is like the conversation in my head. I didn't really, I didn't really talk to myself. But anyway, I got this conversation, this blah, 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 blah. And eventually the willpower ran out. And that night I ended up drinking. And yeah, sure, that night I got pretty drunk, but it was okay. I didn't really get too drunk. And then I say, and then the next morning I woke up, right, I'm not gonna do that again. I'm gonna go back to being sober once again. So I went back to being sober, and I might have lasted a week. I can't remember how long it was exactly, but there was a period of time where, sure, I had that one night where I drank, and then a week passed, and then I think I might have had one or two other drinks, but nothing happened. And then I did it again. I had maybe three days this time, and then I had one or two drinks, and, and I realized, oh my God, I've got it under control. I can moderate my drinking, finally. So I got drunk. <laughs> That's the craziness of it. I thought I could control my drinking, so I got drunk. Like what? That's the craziness of, That's the craziness of alcohol. You make all these justifications in your head. And then this is the, the difficult part, is that I still had all these good things going. I still had the business, I had a car, I had a girlfriend, I had a nice place to live. I had all these good things going, and I was drinking. So now I've got all the good things, and I'm drinking. So. That means that, the, that nothing's really crumbling away. So that means I can continue drinking. So I kept drinking and I kept drinking and I kept drinking and I kept drinking. And before you know it, I'm back at square one. I'm completely fucked. I'm drinking most days. I'm getting blackout drunk four nights a week. And yeah, that's how moderation ended up for me. So that one drink that I had, that when my brain was saying, you could just have one, you could have one. And I finally, the willpower ran out, ended up lasting me around nine months of just pissing around. And by the end of that nine months, all the good things I'd built whilst I was sober had just disappeared. They'd completely crumbled away. And that was a really challenging time. And it was that morning that I woke up and I just kind of started realizing like, what the hell am I doing? What's going on? Why am I doing this? Why do I keep doing this? I started questioning everything that I knew about alcohol. I started looking into, you know, the marketing, the, the messages that we receive, the things that we see on the media. I started looking at the beliefs that we've got. And I started asking, why do I keep doing this? Why do I keep going back there? And that led me on the path to creating Sober Clear, creating the Sober Clear program, showing other people the truth about alcohol and, you know, what's going on. But yeah, like that was my story with moderation. I always, you know, I've tried to moderate multiple times and it just never works out. Now, here's the thing. Moderation. 
Now, I have no desire to moderate anymore. I don't even question it. And it's not because I've failed in the past at moderating. It's not necessarily to do with that. The reason why I know that I can't moderate alcohol now is because I don't want to. There's a big difference between stopping drinking and thinking in the back of your head that maybe one day I can moderate. Maybe one day I can be a normal drinker, whatever that means. And yeah, maybe that's something that you're thinking like, okay, I'll stop for a bit and then I can go back to moderating. And that's okay. You know, thinking like that, there's nothing inherently wrong with this thought process, but this thought process makes you think that alcohol still gives you something. You still feel as though, you know, you're going to moderate because alcohol gives you something. You still think that it gives you courage, confidence, charisma, all the, all the lies that we're told by the marketing messages and all the things that we see on the news and in the movies and so on. You still think that alcohol gives you something. And the only way that you're ever going to stop drinking and know that you've stopped and never want to go back there is by removing the thought that alcohol actually gives you something because it gives you absolutely nothing. Not, not even a little thing. It gives you absolutely nothing. It takes everything away from you. And the day that you realize that when you stop drinking, that's when life really starts. The day that you stop realizing that moderation is an option because why would you want to, why would you want to moderate poison? Right? Alcohol is a fancy marketed poison. There's nothing else to it. And it all comes down to the method that you choose to use when you stop drinking. Right? If you use willpower and you actually stop and you start getting on with your life and you start doing good things with your life, then sure, maybe when it comes to that situation where everybody around you is drinking, everybody around you is having a party, and that thought in your head says, maybe you could just have one. Maybe you could just have a little bit. Maybe you can get it under control now. When that thought comes, if you're using willpower, it's going to be very, 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 very challenging. But if you use the right method to stop drinking, if you remove the conditioning, if you look at the reasons why you drink, if you really go deep into your own mind and what's been happening for your entire adult life, then you won't even want to moderate. And that's why I made the free training and that's why I created SoberClear.com because I want to show people on a deeper level what's going on. Why did they keep going back and making the same mistakes? Right? That's where the true progress lies. That's where lasting sobriety is. That's not where you know a few, a few weeks, a few months goes. Lasting sobriety is all about removing the conditioning. So guys, that's kind of like what I wanted to share with you on moderation. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to click the videos on the screen now to learn more about my story and benefits to not being a drunk. <laughs> all right, anyway guys, see you in the next video. Peace.